Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction, and I previously did a video on why the squats, the downsides of the squat exercise. I know it's hard to believe, but I thought it was a pretty good video. And I have someone suggested to me, Jeff, you should make a series out of this. So I thought, you know what? Maybe I should. I should do a uh, series on common exercises and the downsides of them, because I think that's a good twist to put on things. It's interesting. So today I wanted to focus on the military press. It's where you take that bar, you lift it over your head like that. It works out your traps, it works out your triceps, it works out your deltoid, especially your front delt. And this exercise does have downsides to it, and I'm gonna primarily focus on three, three downsides to this exercise, where it might not be as good as it might seem in the first place. So first downside is you gotta think of the structure of your shoulder. I mean, your shoulder, it's a ball and socket joint, right? It's like your hip. They're both ball and socket joints, except there's a difference because your shoulder, it sacrifices stability for mobility, and it's a shallow socket, so that's why you get so much range of motion with your shoulder. You can go like this all the way around. You can't do that with your leg, though. Your leg can't do that because your hip socket is much deeper, so it supports you much more. It's meant more so for stability, which makes sense because, I mean, you walk around on two legs all day, so it makes sense for that it to be that way. So, in, in other words, just because it makes, just because you can, lift heavy weight over your head doesn't necessarily mean that you should. So in other words, the military press, it may not be the best exercise. You may not, you may be at a higher chance of injuring yourself if you do choose to do that exercise just due to the nature of how your shoulder is built. So that's one reason. Second reason is many people, they don't work out the rotator cuff in an adequate manner. They don't. Your rotator cuff's four small stabilizer muscles in your shoulder it helps to really depress that ball in the shoulder socket. So the rotator cuff is obviously very important and if you don't work it out adequately enough in the gym, it's not gonna be giving you that support and what could be happening is, as, as I said, the military press really works out your deltoid, which is your large, powerful shoulder muscles. So if your deltoid is so powerful compared to your rotator cuff, your rotator cuff might lose the ability to really depress that ball in the shoulder socket. So what could happen is, if the deltoid is so much stronger compared to the rotator cuff, when you're lifting that bar up like that, what could happen is, that ball and socket, it could rise up into that subacromial space there in your shoulder, which has structures like your biceps tendon and supraspinatus of your rotator cuff in there. It, the, those structures can then begin to get jammed and impinged. You could get impingement syndrome, syndrome, shoulder pain, you get a rotator cuff injury, all issues you don't want. So in other words, like the dip exercise, you gotta make sure that your rotator cuff is strong. You just want a strong rotator cuff in general, you really do. I mean, it's gonna do so much for you in terms of preventing shoulder injuries. So that's what the military press could do. If you don't work out your rotator cuff enough, your deltoid could get too strong over time and then you could begin to get issues. So that's the second reason. Third reason is pretty interesting because you gotta think of how you spend a lot of your day. I mean, a lot of you, you're probably hunched over like that with rounded shoulders you're at a desk, you might be sitting down, whatever. Many people, they just sit with that rounded shoulder position and what's going on there? Well, your chest muscles are getting pretty tight, but a muscle that gives many people problems called the pec minor, that gets especially tight. And that muscle attaches right to your shoulder blade and it's gonna really cause problems because you gotta think of how your shoulder blade moves when you lift your arm up over your head. What's your shoulder blade doing? Well, it's doing actions like upwardly rotating, it's also tilting backwards, and what does your pec minor do? It tilts your shoulder blade forward and it also downwardly rotates you. So in a way, it does kind of the opposite actions of what your shoulder blade is supposed to do to get that bar straight up over your head when you're doing the military press. So the lifestyle you're in, it could really impact you on that exercise if that muscle is very tight and it could cause impingement. You might not be able to get that bar straight up, which is even more stress on your rotator cuff. So your daily lifestyle, it could have a big role on your ability to do this exercise without issues. So those are, and let me just, you know, I might as well just tell you how to stretch that muscle since it causes issues in pretty much everyone. You can just go into the corner of a room, hands like this, hands arm on each side of the, like, of the corner of the room, raise your elbows higher than your shoulders, lean in. Stretch shouldn't be painful if it is, don't do it. But hold that stretch for 30 seconds, do it twice on each side. Actually, you could hold it for a minute and do it twice. I do that stretch every day, and it's definitely a good stretch that pretty much all of you guys should be doing, virtually all of you. But anyways, I think those, that's all that's gonna help you guys out. Those are just three things. The structure of your shoulder, 
the ability to cause a muscle imbalance, the potential for that, and just you sitting in a, you being in a poor position really throughout the day, those are three reasons why the military press may be a poor exercise. Those are just the downsides of it. But anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out. This has been Jeff on more orienting your fitness in the right direction. If you like the video, thumb it up, comment, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later soon.